According to evacuate-fukushima.com, 30 bags now have totally empty out, have also been found. Its radioactive content is back in the environment, and that is just on that site alone. The media is only reporting 82 bags that were displaced in the rain in the entire prefecture. Liars. And I tend to believe the people and not the media. Radioactive substances spewed by the crippled Fukushima number one nuclear plant were swept away in the flooding of rivers in the Fukushima prefecture, the environmental ministry said. A total of 82 bags were discovered, with 37 of them recovered Friday. There remained unclear how many had been washed away, the ministry said. Scores of the thousand liter bags were used during the cleanup work, and mainly to store surface soil that had been decontaminated from the release of the plant which was heavily damaged in the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami. From the reports I've seen, they actually found 37 bags that were opened and emptied of their contents. Who knows how many hundreds more bags could be just like that. Have a look over at ENA News. TV floods threaten Fukushima plant structures. It's a nuclear nightmare territory then. That if you have too much water sinking beneath the plant, it's just going to lift up some of these radioactive isotopes, make this area a lot more and harder to deal with. A lot of nuclear fuel has actually gone into the ground and will come out at the surface if groundwater rises which we know it's doing. Radiation levels flowing into the ocean much higher than usual. Mm -hmm. How many times more than usual? Hmm. 10 times, 100 times. Floods may pose threat not only to radiation under Fukushima but also structures. Severe floods have hit Japan sending tons of radiation contaminated water from Fukushima nuclear plants into the ocean. Was asked, uh, he had made some reference to the enlightened mind being like a mind of a child. Chris Busby, Scientific Secretary of the European Committee of Radiation Risks. There's an enormous amount of radioactivity underneath the plant. The reactors are holed and a lot of the fuel is actually in the ground. And that's mixing with the groundwater. Well normally what they do is they pump that water away but because the groundwater becomes heavily contaminated. And then they pump those into the big tanks. But of course, if the groundwater rises as usual, as a result of the rain, then that stuff will just come out of the ground, the surface of the ground. And the second problem, of course, is they affect the integrity of the structures, the actual building structures and the four reactors. And of course, you're into really serious, serious nuclear nine more territory. Then it surprised me that they have, haven't got enough pumps to deal with this situation. It's not a situation that's impossible to predict. I mean, all along the lines, we were being told that Tesco could possibly have predicted this and couldn't possibly have predicted that. Well, the answer is they should have. Bags of tan water swept into the Fukushima River 
during torrential rain, seven sites for radioactive waste generated from the Fukushima nuclear crisis were submerged during torrential rain, raising fears over a possible radiation spill into the environment at the Fukushima No. 1 nuclear plant. Heavy rains caused radiation tainted water from reaching and going into the ocean ditches, but the torrential rains overwhelmed the gates twice in the pre-dawn hours of September 9th and September 11th, the plant operator said. Utility officials said rainfall increases the radioactivity level of the water in the drainage system as rainwater accumulates radioactive materials in surrounding soil when it flows into these ditches. While the drainage water usually contains less than 100 becquerel of beta ray emitting radioactive substances per liter, water measured 750 becquerels per liter on September 11th, said go officials. Now if we go by their measurements, they're just on us the measurements they're gathered. That's a 700% increase just off their numbers alone. NHK September 11th of 2015. Rainwater overflows from Fukushima plant. Tesco said on Friday that it's confirmed the leaks through video footage of the complex. Operator said the leaks occurred at 3 a.m. at 5.20 a.m. and at 6 a.m. on Friday for a total of more than two and a half hours. TIPCO is now checking the radioactive levels of rainwater samples taken from the channel.